a little bit of a wipe. And I, I won't bother blowing a hole through that, because that, that's going to go pretty quick on its own. I don't got to spend mana on that. Oh, Brendenburg took a province there. Whoopsies. Oh, Brendenburg's my ally. There's always a chance I could uh, vassalize him up later, get the PU over him. There we go. Denmark has seen the light. Hallelujah. They have seen the light. I was hoping that would have happened earlier. Then the tick, then their aggressive expansion could have started ticking down in that while the rest of the war was happening, but not a problem. Alas, you have arrived again. We have the mighty England Angevin. To be Angevin, currently we are still England. Give us a bit more time to conquer everything required. We will form that beautiful Angevin color. I don't know, it's kind of like a purpley blue, whatever it is. We will form it, but today we have some other things to do. First, we're going to finally start absorbing Ireland. And we're going to fire some more wars. As we do, we're going to grab our next subject of Denmark, and then we'll start working on returning those cores as we war with Sweden and whoever her ally. Ooh, it's a free Lithuania. No Polish-Lithuania Commonwealth this game. Interesting. And a small Muscovy in an intact Novgorod. 1507. Like a completely intact Novgorod. That's fun. That's fun. I'll invade you later. Don't don't worry, Novgorod. You will not be forgotten. All right. First things first. We will begin the integration of Ireland. Um, no, I don't want you moth mothballed. Maintain it. Yes. Okay. So it's maintained. You can actually sit there just to protect it. Now... We've gotten all of the cores returned except Picardy, but we're stuck in truce, and he doesn't have a... It's like three more years of truce. So we're going to completely ignore that. And instead, let's also max out our sailors. We can get one more sailor. Him in the north. Come south here. Let's start paying for our navy too while we're at it. We know we need you guys on the mainland. And we will pick you up all the way in the Orkneys. Just mock speed five that for a, a month or two. You go. Oh, before we fire this though, before, 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 we now have the bonus and minus 10% dev cost from the burgers. We want to take advantage of that. First things first, we're going to upgrade that natural harbor for another 5%. Come in here, we'll encourage development for another 10%. And we're looking at a piddly... I don't want to spend my diplo though. I want to spend all admin and military. We're looking at a piddly 20 per click. So let's go. Boom. Be watching colonialism while I'm at it. Hey, we got it. We got it. So we'll get you all back to the advancement effort. I think it'll go straight to London too. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away it's starting to go. So this is good. This is good. It'll get all through my capital region. Probably like five a turn or something. 11, 12 a turn on London. Yeah, it'll be there real soon. Real soon. Okay, we have you on the mainland. Let's get you up closer. We are absorbing Ireland. Now, to get the Danes as my subject, I need to attack Friesland, co-belligerent Denmark, and call in the boys. Oh, Castile got in his own war. That's cute. For once, you're fighting for yourself, Castile. How does it feel? Let's go. Now, I only have 72 months left in the Age of Discovery. I'm going to hold on to my, my Golden Age still. I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs> okay. We're doing okay, I say. I'll try to pick you off. Who is it? Palatinat again. Again, Palatinat? Really? I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You know the line. Vuzbug. Get you out of any coalition. Constance, that's not happening. 
Baden's not happening. Land shut. Land shut could definitely happen. Land shut's a thing. What is this route? Wants me to run all the way around? I'm fighting Montferrat again! Montferrat, man. We're, we're, we're never going to get this, like, X'd out. It's going to be stuck in permanent coalitions, man. It's just what it is. Hey, my sailor should be quick to play. Look at this. Nice and quick to play. Boom! Look how fast that is! Look how fast that was! I was like instant! Instant on the land! Yeah. Pop out. Pop out. Oh, Norway is my subject! What am I thinking? Yeah, I don't I don't need to invade Norway. That was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, pay attention. In Denmark I gotta invade. Of course. Have you deployed a Schlevig? Let's do it the old fashioned way. And we've lost our military advisor. Make it okay, money. Now nah, let's go for it. So you're into Schlevig. We're gonna run. get to sea land, right? Sail around and then we'll have them quick to play out. Liège cash on your way, sir. We salute you. Uh, Norway, let's get you maxed again. And then to sea Oh, I can run there now. Boom! A little bit of a wipe. And I, I won't bother blowing a hole through that, because that, that's going to go pretty quick on its own. I don't got to spend mana on that. I think after this fort, this army is just going to go train. I got enough guys engaged here. You know how I feel about deploying my whole army. I like to have it just back training the whole time. I start, I start the wars. I don't fight them, okay? I just start them. Checking for truces I care about. It's just Picardy. He can't get into a coalition. No. There's no truces I care about. I really do got to abandon Castile at some point here. I'll have to do some tricky calling into wars. Maybe call... Yeah, Morocco got full absorbed. I'll have to, like, no CB Tunis or something. So I'm just not down here. He's got no allies. Zob, would you peacefully be my subject? Tunis might get chopped up more, and I might be able to peacefully vassalize him at that point. Or I just go, br like, brute force right through Castile. So you screw any strategy. The old brute force method. That's Sealand. It'll put us back over two, but we're already 10% done absorbing Ireland. Oh, I can also get a Diplo speed. There we go. That'll go even quicker. So I would think he would just piece me. 95% or score. <laughs> 95%. Just, I can just take that. I love that. Gotta have armies running around. Or that navy, maybe? Yeah, it could just be that navy. No, no, I see the army in the north. I see you. I see you up there. Smash the navy first. Handle his rebels. My sailors handled his rebels. That wasn't exactly the plan. Now that we've smashed your navy, you might be more cooperative. No, he definitely wants me to smash that army. 
Consider it done, so. Wurttenberg, peace out. Should boat bomb him there? No, no, missed him. Again, capital. Capital's a forest. I'll take it. And that's an easy one. So right back down to Schlevig. Well, at the same time, probably... Nah, he's going to wait to the end of the month to realize, like, I have no navy. I have no army. Maybe, maybe we lost this one. I think this is my cue to get my boys out of there. Get my boys out of harm's way. At least half my army. Let my allies fight for me at this point. Sile will cede. No, I don't want you to cede land to Austria, man. I just don't want that. Don't need to make Austria stronger. I don't care about access to your land either. I will keep one army engaged. You'll come north to Frieza. Training. Let's get you back to London. Diplo idea, or Diplo rep, and some trade 10%. That's going to immediately help with the money. Brunswick offers cash, no AE. Oh, Brandenburg took a province there. Whoopsies. Oh, Brandenburg's my ally. There's always a chance I could uh, vassalize him up later, get the PU over him. All right. Denmark, you know what we want. No, he's not there. Demands exceed war score, ally in war, result in annexation. That is the whole idea, man. That is literally the idea. We want it to result in your annexation. Hmm. Yearly prestige for 40 years. Wow. Well, I'll take that. Train chilling, Malferral. Do I just take it so I can then absorb Savoy? It might be worth it for that little bit of extra... Oh, Savoy already has it. Like, they won't even let me give it to Savoy. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Because then I can absorb Savoy and free up the slot. And that's all of his cores returned. Some Swiss separatists I'll have to deal with. Baden, cash, no AE. And we are improving with Savoy. Oh, we're already improving with Savoy. It's like I planned this out. Friesland was the war goal. Denmark is the actual goal of this whole thing. So until Denmark's ready to go. Neither are we. Oh, you're a lesser partner. Okay. So Stetten, Constanz. I know I can piece you out, my man. You're a free city. Stettenberg. If I do it through the main screen, they might actually give me the piece. Because I, I don't need to actually take anything from Frieza. Yeah, what do I have? This claim? It'll be 13. He would do it this way. But then I couldn't take the province. But am I even going to take the province? Being that this is a fairly large list already, I probably shouldn't. I'm going to take it. I should just vassalize him after and absorb him. Like, he's two provinces. There we go. Denmark has seen the light. Hallelujah. They have seen the light. I was hoping that would have happened earlier. Then, the tick, then their aggressive expansion could have started ticking down in that while the rest of the war was happening, but not a problem. All right. Well, we still have lots of time. I'll probably get to fire on Picardy. That's the next one I'm looking at. 
We're still absorbing Ireland. I'm going to start absorbing Savoy as soon as this is done. The Danes clearly need a two-door on the throne. Hey, we're down to 93. It's slowly getting up with Burgundy. Feels very nice. Goldenberg, just some cash. I don't care about the access. Freeze. And get, how did, somehow the Palatinate always full full war um, enthusiasm. He just loves fighting me. He loves getting stomped by me. He's not even putting up a fight. Those separatists handled. Now, do I want to do something like... Make Friesland not exist? No. How about one province? It does bring quite a few new prob uh, countries in that aren't in currently. That I don't necessarily need to. And I don't see me wanting to wait years. Because we have the calling for war score already. I'm okay with that. How long does our truce last? Ends this year. All right, so I'll make a new one if I need to go back to war. But I don't actually don't need to because I I already have Denmark. I could fire, I can fire on Sweden. That's our next move for sure. That's our next move for sure. East Midlands, you can get to the advancement. How are we looking with colonialism? It's in London, like we knew it would, and it's spreading down here fairly well too. Turn off the spread there on Lombard. And Savoy is ready to be absorbed. We're not going to wait on that. Start absorbing him right away. We're also going to move into... Oh, we got to get this lifted. And then I think I can... I actually, I have no clue if I can see his land. I can! I can! mission and we'll seize the land Norway owns land. no I don't want to absorb Norway Northumberland gives me cash but I don't have that to spend so tax and Coventry gets me prestige what is the actual cost per 46 so it'd be like a hundred I'd have to spend I don't have that to spend has to be the tax and Coventry Oh, I guess I could have spent this, um, used the prestige first, but nah, whatever. We're good. Caesar land, we're up at 64%. Gonna get these guys shipped over right away. And we'll also check our sailor tab here. Marines, correction, Marines. I think I'll bring these guys right to Sealand. The enclosure movement. You get two base tax in London, innovativeness, and some peasants. Or just 50. Two base tax in London. I mean, we're already at 14. That's like 270 mana, essentially, for a, 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 a stab loss and some peasants. How many peasants are we talking? 12 in Lincolnshire. All right, well, we'll definitely reform it. Wait till the day tick. Form it. Form it. Bolt bomb those fools. Boom. And we'll come drop you guys off straight in like... No, we'll bring them to Norway. Yeah, yeah, they can run. They can attack through Norway. We have access through these straits. We're good to go. Let's get you brought up there too. But I think I will fire the war. There's no point in waiting. It's for core return. We want our allies to start fighting. Castile's not up for it. We're going to make it 
Mitterland. 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 Right there. Brandenburg. Brandenburg. Austria. Livonian Order. Riga. Brings in these random countries again, but I might actually take Riga. I may take Riga. I might even subjugate Livonian Order. I don't know. I like them both. I like both those ideas. Let's do it. I'm not growing fast enough, okay? It's not fast enough. It's got to be faster. Carpet siege that. Smoke a little navy on the way. And the sailors will just do their thing, training. Grass line. I think that's a good fort to siege down. Shouldn't take too much attrition on the on the war path through. That is the war goal already. To see that. Actually, you know what? I will. Come handle these little countries first. These little uh, one province miners and whatnot. Extract my wealth from them. Oh no. Yeah, we'll definitely let you attack me in the hill. And then I'll go smoke your uh, your buddies over there. Boom, 300 losses, essentially none. And he's, al he's already pre-sieging this down for me. He's on my side, essentially. He's fighting for the enemy. Clash of the navies. Sweden has a strong navy. Ah, but he's he's fallen before me. I did I did have some losses. It wasn't a flawless victory by any means, but a victory all the same. We'll get onto that capital of Sweden quick enough. We got the ticking war score. Volgas, you might not like what I'm about to do just north of you. Poland, possibly you wouldn't like it either. Boom. Uh, what do we think? Help out here? Oh yeah, his navy's going to get forced out there. Yes. Or I help out on Hamburg. No, I'll do this one first. Though that gives his galleys an advantage. Yeah, I don't need to fight those galleys. I'll just avoid them. We're at 71% already. There we go. Elfberg. So he's attacking me. He's giving me the defensive advantage. Anyone else? You want to attack me too? We'll go straight for that capital. Corbin, my man, Ireland, Danes, we are... Oh, we're not even improving with them. My bad, man. <laughs> I should be improving with you. I did just forcibly make you my subject. Now, I forcibly made you my subject. Now I'm going to forcibly make you like me. <laughs> you will like... Oh, we must have the Dark War going on. What the heck is... Where is this instability, Sweden? <laughs> the heck? Massive instability. I'm gonna actually head to Sweden next. They, they seem like they need some help over here. From their from their own rebels. I gotta help them help from themselves. Ooh, three stab, back up to three. And just quick quick transport across. Hamburg wants to peace out with no AE. Off you go. I like it. It's convenient when they offer you that. Then you gotta, don't got to go through and click all the buttons and make all the decisions. Just let him offer you peace and be on your way. So. That is a zikap. Man, these rebels keep popping. 
<laughs> like, this is a little obscene, man. Well, you're welcome. Could also release, like, a Finland, too, while I'm at it. The possibilities are pretty much endless. East Frisia, no AE. Oh, man, they popped off on... on... There's so many rebels! <laughs> This is insane. What a disaster. I'm fighting him through his disaster. Well, as long as I have the Dane lands, it's only a matter of time. And then I can knock out his allies and just ignore all these rebels. Leave one army back to maybe deal with the rebels and then everything else I'll, uh, I'll go handle his allies. Because I got a big Lithuania still to deal with there. Just walking around like he owns the place. So I'm going to go to Riga next. Because I did co-belligerent him, so I may be able to actually take him. Take him from this peace tree. Denmark. Denmark. Get it all transferred over. So it feels like home. I'm getting transported... Don't you take in my fort. I may, again, I may just let him take Stockholm, though. Hold on to everything else. Ooh, naval battle. Man, I just keep jumping on it. Alright, fine. While we're at it, I'll get them off Stockholm, too. Saxony, you are an Elector. I have not been playing very hard trying to get the Electorship at all. I really haven't. I've just been mass blowing. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me get across onto Livonian order. But yeah, I can do this. I can grab Viborg over here and then release a Finland and get all those Finnish cores back and also at the same time be next to um, Novgorod if I want to expand that way. AE drop. Yes, we'll leave that up. I'm about to take some more aggressive expansion, so yes. No AE. Another government reform. Coming down to deliver. All right. Max absolutism. No aristocratic core. Improved relations is good for all this aggressive expansion. Reform progress is, of course, nice too. I do kind of like the Diplo rep improved relations. We're going to go with that. And that'll help us too. It won't be so far over our Diplo limit. I'm absorbing two guys at once. But hey, one, one Diplo mana a turn is one Diplo mana a turn. I accept. And shut Munich. Yeah, and the longer we leave that, you can see it's ticking on. So we'll be able to take advantage of that minus 5 AE impact for longer and longer. Because I'm not piecing out anyone at the moment. Though that may change right now with the Livonian Order. Lithuania is falling on its own. I just don't like how my manpower is tickling, trickling down so much. Can I just run back? No. I have to auto-transport it. Why can't I run? That's actually blocking me. This fort here? Seems like I should be able to run. The Lithuania. 
interesting. How about this, Army King? You guys just run back. Go for a jog back. No. Smash a couple navies, force them out to sea. If they're going to make me, if they're going to make me destroy them, I will destroy them. Get you guys back from France, too. You can get up to this floor. Now can we run? No, it's not just it's not gonna let me run home. It's not gonna let me do it. Alright, so we'll, we'll uh transport across back to Kalmar and deal with these rebels again. Another round of rebels, and then I'll transport them home. The rebels literally popped where I landed. This is absurd, man. So I said, Riga, I would just take when he's ready, which I'm going to. In the Livonian order, it's a lot of cores over here. I could fire a war on Lithuania allied the Ottoman, eh? Hmm. How about that? Two slots opening up right now. I'm about to absorb two, but one of those is only temporary. So let's make sure we're ready to absorb Florence after. So that'll be the next guy actually ready to uh, incorporate into the nation. Yeah, Riga, I just want to take you flat out, man. And I just don't know on Livonian order. It's a lot of cores. A lot of juicy cores to return. And we can fire on Picardy. He has trade power. But I can do that with... And all my allies would go fight that for me right now. That is how we're going to finish off this episode. Because I don't actually have to fight that myself. Perfect. I love these massive wars you get. Just like draw the whole continent into multiple wars. And do my best not to fight as little as possible. <laughs> How do you get transported over from here? So it doesn't take too long. Yeah, they're both... The problem is both... Ireland and Savoy are quite a ways off from actually being absorbed. So Livonian order, I have decided you will be my subject. Boom. Back to two over. Riga, you will just be mine. You are my precious. Pour that up. Let's say Woods Fort. I'll hold on to that. Oh, and I can break up Lithuania's alliance with the Ottoman right here. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's marvelous. I didn't even think about that before. Love it. Love it, love it. I want to make sure Novgorod doesn't get any crazy ideas. And um, a reduced Muscovy we can improve relations with. A reduced Muscovy is fine in my books. Now I said we want to finish off Picardy here. And we're going to have my allies do all the work for me. Oh, Castile must have just fired that war on, on Tunis. I, I'm pretty sure he was willing to, to fight a second ago. So it's Cor, Artois, Brandenburg, and Austria both join. It's transferring trade power. Let's fix that. Ooh, we are going to switch Protestant. So the Reformation has begun. It's fairly early. 1513. 
The other question would be, can I ask him to prepare for war? No, I won't be able to because I'm already in war. Just spend a bit of trust. All right, Pickery. He's not going to join, but we got the other boys on. Don't care about any of these co-belligerents for the Artois Corps return. Our sailors will keep on training. And we'll peace that out when we're ready. Let's go with a couple boys to our flock. Have the centers of reformation all popped. So one up in Stockholm, one here, and one down below. So they have all popped. I won't get one in my area, but that's okay. I don't mind converting myself over. What I will do, though, is I will drop missionary maintenance to nothing. And we'll start trying to get some uh, religious rebels to pop. We love us some religious rebels. Of course, you go right to Burgundy. Just occasionally doing the building checks. Every once in a while there's something. Yeah, 53. That's definitely worth it. And then manpower. We've been chronically out of it. England in the Age of Reformation. England gets religious chaos until the Age of Reformation, giving the following effect. Less tolerance of heretics, more papal influence, less religious unity. Okay. That's new. That's a new flavor to the English country. I wonder if that follows me to the Angevin realm or not. We'll see. We'll, we'll deal with it. Institution embracement costs. After I embrace the colonialism, I will take that missionary strength as well. All right. It's got to be done in the correct order. I want you to annul that trees with the Ottoman. And Poland. I don't mind him defending Novgorod. So he can keep that. And I won't I won't bust up his country either. Okay, very good. So we're set up to do the core return later. And if I gotta fight Novgorod at the same time, not an issue. Still only 81% on Ireland. We're not getting a call for peace, though. I don't have to rush to it. All right, I won't. Until we get a call for peace, I'll just chill with that. Looming disaster, religious turmoil. Okay. Not ideal. <laughs> Not how he imagined this going. And the only reason I'm holding out on actually accepting that piece is I want to absorb Ireland if possible before I before I take it. Probably isn't going to be a complete... like that. I'm not going to be able to absorb all of Ireland, but even if I get most of the way there, I'll consider that good enough. There's still the Swedish Navy. We can drop our fleet maintenance. Are you guys just training. And I want all of my armies home. I have literally zero manpower there. But, again, there's no call for peace up here. That's the, that's the only reason I'm not... Piecing out sweet. You should be Burgundy. How are we looking? Livonian order. Yeah, it's understandable. Livonian order. I kind of do that to countries. Just kind of take them over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? 
So Void is ready to be absorbed. No, not quite. Let's improve a bit more. Mole house. Actually, I might. It's 97. Still no call for peace. I don't, I don't know why he's not <laughs> wanting. You should want peace, man. You should be calling for it. It's like, nah, we're good. We don't need it. Peace is overrated. <laughs> like, we're stopping you. We're literally stopping your entire nation. You should want peace, man. 76. Yeah, I'll let that one province at 97, and then I'll accept it after that. I'm gonna make this all core. Oh, I just absorbed it. It might have got more expensive. Let's just embrace it before it gets more expensive. Colonialism embraced. Oh, and the Irish lands immediately get full cored up. And we'll, we're, we will reduce that autonomy afterwards. And we have a random 5,000 army sitting over here. Don't want their cavalry, but I do want those infantry. Do the long jog home. Okay, so we've got Ireland absorbed. So now let's go to Sweden. I want to take Viborg. And then I want to take all the core return. 100%. Grow Norway a little bit too at his expense. Yeah, no one cares about that. And that, that makes a more visually pleasing Norway, in my opinion. I know I, I could grab that fort. It's arguably better, but I just like that nice, chonky Norway. And that that uh, coalition is non-existent. Just point that out. That is a, essentially a non-existent coalition. So I don't want to absorb you because I'm going to release you for Finland. And then we'll have all those beautiful Finnish cores to return for our next war with Sweden. Minimal AE in the north. And Lithuania, don't forget. So I got Sweden and Lithuania to return all these cores to. Savoy, we're still going to the moon. Finally, we check our force line. Yeah, I'm a little over on the naval, but only by a couple boats, so I'm not going to actually delete anything. So that's not true. I got I don't need 38 transports. Bring that down to 36. What are we waiting on? Just Picardy... It's that same same normal nonsense where they just want to keep fighting for whatever reasons. For very good reasons. That's all good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep extending them all for now. That mercantilism is up at 69%. Give me anything. I oh, need some trust. Portuguese, we are pinned at 100. But don't give me soldiers. I'll happily take those. Aachen, no AE. Yeah, he's going to just keep popping up now. No AE. Nuremberg, no AE. Same deal. And one more infantry. Uh, 
Oh, which is this? This is the Danish one? No, this is Gotland. I don't know when I'm actually going to absorb Denmark. Oh, he's too long. What are my bonuses? Hostile disembark time. It's only for the one province, though. The global modifier is privateers. I don't care about privateers. I'm not going to absorb you anytime soon. So no, we're not. A, we're not. We're not building either of those. The answer is a hard no. God, I hope they'll just offer me the peace treaties. I wasn't going to have to go in and do it myself, but it doesn't appear like they want to. They're thinking I'm going to be a lot harsher than I am. I just, I just want all your cash, man. This is simple. This is so simple. Rothenburg, you're a free city, you know? I don't want I don't want to take that away from you. I want you to be a free city. Ah, I see. We don't have a siege. And then we have the pilots not that could that just refuses to dip out of a war. This time? This time? Hey, this is the time. Finally, these two cores. No coalition will form. Is that the mission? Is that return Burgundy? That's, yeah, seize Burgundy. Lose 10 years of separatism in the Burgundy area. Does this apply to me, though? Like... I don't even have the have Burgundy yet. All provinces in the France region is owned by me or England. What isn't? Oh, it's only it's only Lombard. It's only Avignon correction. Avignon is the only thing stopping me. How long would it take me to fire a fast one on you? I could just threaten it out of them. Done. Done. I'm fine with threatening the Pope. <laughs> I'm not above threatening the Pope, man. I have no problem with that. The Angevin Kingdom. I'm not sure what happens here. Unlock the active union parliament issue. We get three base tax in Anjou, three production in Anjou, three manpower in Anjou, minus 25% dev cost till the end of the game in Anjou do. All right, I'll have to dev that up later. And then unlock the Axe of Union. And then that also affects this. We're going to do this all right now before we end this episode. I wasn't going to fire a whole nother war, but I didn't have to. Uh, okay, so decision. We're going to switch away. Oh, I'm not admin tech. I'm not admin tech 10. I'm not that far away. We're going to mock speed or five our way to it, guys. This is this is worth it. This is how we're gonna finish this episode because I am I am really curious of what happens here. Do I just auto absorb France? Is it possible I auto absorb France here? I want to do this. I want to do this. If we change our our uh, tag here, this is worth. It. We're just waiting out on our midpoints at this point. Castile. Ooh, I don't know. Castile. This might be the time we say goodbye. This might be the time that we say goodbye. You and I, you and I. I'm gonna miss you, Castile. You were special to me. But even best friends have to say goodbye eventually. You and I, you and I. Ooh, that's my next war against Venice. Okay, don't get distracted, Dave. Don't get distracted. Steel. Can you imagine I inherited Castile? Even if I had to go to war for it. Worth it. Yeah, I, okay, I won't I won't rival them right away then. Castile just inherited Aragon. And he became Spain. But he still doesn't have an heir. Okay. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't abandon Castile as an ally. Go for the um, the PU over him. But I know I have a mission regrading uh, Spain. Okay. Form, force the Acts of Union debate. Click the button. Jump into the debate. Prestige is easy. 
Government reform for not. Naval commissions for sure. Inflation for sure. Military support. Those are all easy. I like army professionals. And bribing's fine. Prestige is again fine. So then it'll be like government reform or plaguing. Okay. Okay. Victory. Hey, look at it! It happened! It happened! Yes! A throne inherited! The Angevin Kingdom! Oh, new traditions and ambitions. Yes, please. I think that was worth holding out to the end of the episode four, guys. Acts of Union. Um, if we form the Angevin Kingdom, we'll get 20 base production randomly distributed in random provinces throughout the British and France region. Cool. We got more? Let's click them all. Let's click all the buttons, guys. The Angevin culture. The British culture group gets converted to Angua. Angua. Boom. 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 We are Angua. We're part of the French culture group. Yes. And once we become an empire, it'll automatically be all accepted. Thank you for making it to the end. It seems like the end is in sight, guys. I appreciate you for watching this long. Have yourself a great day. Hope you're playing along with me. Till next time, goodbye.